like the video and subscribe if you live on planet Earth. Oh, hey, someone just bought me a gift. Oh, let's go. 1,050 gold. Oh, my goodness. That means I have to go ahead and give someone 1,000 gold. If you guys want to get gold inside of Build of make sure to go ahead and comment down below your Roblox username. Also, like the video and subscribe. And welcome back. Hopefully, you guys are having a great day as always. Today, we're going to be taking a look at some crazy team secrets inside of the game and some new teams that could also be added. Yes, you guys heard that right. They could be adding new teams inside of the game. We're also going to be taking an in-depth look at some of the craziest team secrets with boss fights hidden on on some team plots. I know that sounds crazy, but you guys have got to see some of the stuff. Make sure you guys stay tuned. This is gonna get crazy. And without further ado, let's go ahead and hop straight into it. Before we get into anything, make sure you guys go ahead and comment down below. Happy birthday to Skeleton because it is Skeleton's birthday yesterday. Yeah, yesterday, the day you guys are watching this. His birthday was on Sunday. So make sure to go ahead and wish him a happy birthday inside the comment section. So there was a suggestion added right here where they suggested more teams where it's pretty self-explanatory that they could add two extra teams inside of the game for more, you know, players to be in of the game where they could actually add two team plots right here that actually kind of makes sense you could actually add another team plot there there is room you'd have to make the first stage kind of shorter but it really does make sense considering if we actually look on the right hand side there's these flag colors we have blue red and then we have a teal and an orange but there's no actual teal and orange inside of the teams all right those teams don't exist so if they do add more teams to the game this is what it would look like there'd be orange team and then the teal team obviously and they would be like closer to the stage let me know down below would you guys want more teams added inside of the game or do you guys like it the way it is i mean it looks like there'd be enough room for another team they just have to make like the first stage a little bit shorter let me know what you guys think about it down below those of you guys that didn't know orange team actually was added inside of the game and got replaced with magenta team the team that i'm on right now it got replaced with this and they actually ended up adding an orange team memorial sorry to interrupt but guess what guys the testing server for build about got updated again today so i thought i'd share with you guys while i'm editing this video I noticed testing server got updated again, so it looks like there's probably gonna be something soon. Okay, let's hop back into the video. Stay tuned. But after I show you guys this, you guys have got to see what I'm about to show you next, okay? It's literally a boss fight on the team plot. Yes, you guys heard that right. But first, let's take a look at the Orange Team Memorial and then get into that. The Orange Team Memorial was actually activated. If you clicked on a branch on the team plot, it would open up a secret room that would reveal the Orange Team Memorial. There was a little secret to this that every single time you would open up the memorial you would get one gold added to your account absolutely for free you can repeat it over and over again obviously it wasn't good for grinding gold but hey it was still a pretty cool secret comment down below if you guys remember that now let's get into some more team secrets that'll absolutely blow your mind and that you have to see some of this stuff is crazy and super old take a look right now there actually was a secret door in the back of black team that opened up inside of one of the first ever halloween updates inside of the game it led you to the secret room you had to click on like this glass orb and it would actually actually make the sky completely dark and it would actually be the activation to the boss fight but once you actually entered this area you had to click on a bunch of torches that spawned around the map and uh, i know it seems a little bit weird but this was actually the process to start the boss fight and yes guys this was all 100 percent real after you clicked on all the torches you had to actually fight the skeleton boss a literal boss would spawn on your plot and i will say this is probably one of the hardest boss fights that we've ever had inside of the game you try to throw hands at you like skeleton hands and it was honestly one of the most difficult boss fights like this thing was not easy at all and it was almost impossible to deal damage to it skeleton boss quest was only inside of the game for that update and then it got removed and we haven't really fought him since that's not it guys this one is also on black team as well and there was another hidden boss fight on black team that you probably didn't know about either there was another secret on black team that if you teleported to it and you clicked a branch another secret would open up it was kind of the exact exact same door that we had for the skeleton boss fight except this one led it to a completely different area you can see you can click on all the branches right there it was like a branch code it was super weird you could click on multiple ones and if you actually go through this door it led you into this area right over here and it kept going deeper and deeper and then you went into like a graveyard of pumpkins it was like a pumpkin patch it was actually kind of terrifying and it was honestly so sick i really miss updates like these in build a boat and secrets like this this was so fun once you actually go over here, all you have to do is click on a pumpkin, and it's gonna put you straight into the ground. This is when the jack-o'-lanterns actually got added to the game. So you click on one, and then it just brings you
you straight into the ground and into the boss fight layer. It's actually kind of scary. And this led you inside of the pumpkin layer, and it was almost impossible to see inside of this area. So we actually kind of did a little trick. We actually put portals underneath it so we could just teleport in, and the lighting would glitch out, and we'd be able to see. But usually when you fight this boss fight, it'd be in complete total darkness. Check it out. This is where the pumpkin boss was, and all you had to do was just shoot the pumpkin boss with the hand cannon. And I believe this is also when the hand cannon originally got added to the game. This was honestly a super sick area, and I really do miss this boss fight. And every time the pumpkin would make you oof, you would turn into a pumpkin, and you could see you also get 10 pumpkins for winning as well. There was even a hidden chest around the team plots that you could claim almost every day, I believe. It actually gave some pretty rare items. A lot of you guys probably don't know about this. White chest was also part of the Halloween update, so the white chest is a hidden chest that was at on 1025 in 2019. It always spawned at a set locations around the pine trees behind the building spaces. It would disappear, then change its place when touched by a player. The white chest would reward the player one to three pine trees when touched. So it was just a random chest that was hidden around the map and it would change locations almost every single day and you could claim it and claim free pine trees inside of the game. And speaking of pine trees, this leads me into one of the craziest build about secrets that I think we've ever had inside of the game. And this secret gave us tons of crazy items and some people don't even think it was real. But yes, guys, it was real and it was Bigfoot inside of build about You guys are probably saying like, what are you talking about? Bigfoot inside of build about It was real, guys. All right, inside of the update we actually got, it was part of the Mr. Beast Team Trees update where Mr. Beast actually reached out to a bunch of content creators, developers, and actually had a fundraiser to spread awareness of planting trees. So True Thrill planted a bunch of trees around the map. Now, what the map actually looked like before this was pretty empty. So he added a bunch of these trees. And when he actually added these trees, he added a little Easter egg, which was Bigfoot. And it was like a one of a hundred chance of actually seeing him. And it was actually kind of scary when you came across him. I only came across him about a couple times, but when I did, it was absolutely terrifying. Bigfoot would then re leave behind a footprint with a code on it that you could redeem inside of the shop. And it actually gave you some pretty crazy items. But that was honestly one of my most favorite secrets they ever added to the game was the Bigfoot secret. Take a look at this, because this is what happens when you make contact with Bigfoot inside of the game. This is what happened when you encountered Bigfoots inside of the game. Your screen would turn kind of like this. It would turn very blurry. You would be able to see him inside of the distance, but not for long. Here's a screenshot of what it looks like when you get close to him. You can't really see the face, but it just blurs your screen so much, so you can't really see him at all. And as I mentioned, this is probably my favorite secret that they've ever added to the game. And they also added a snow version inside of the Christmas update, which is the Yeti, which was also pretty much the same thing. It brought out a bunch of new codes inside of the game, and it was all around 10 out of 10 secret. I really do hope Bigfoot returns. Some people say it's still inside of the game because there was no official announcement that it got removed. So if you guys have came across Bigfoot lately, let me know down below inside the comment section because it must be a super, super rare chance. But thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe. If you guys want a part two for more team secrets, let me know down below inside the comment section and let me know if you guys want to see more teams inside of the game. I will see you guys all inside of the next one. Have a great day as always. Peace out and goodbye.